y'all hey welcome back to my channel as you can see by the time the video your girl is back again with another hair tutorial shout out to hair markets for sponsoring today's video y'all we doing a four by four today so if y'all want to see how i went from looking like this to that just keep watching y'all y'all know all my wig tutorials are real real detailed so we gonna go ahead and get into the structure of this wig so y'all this is what the four by four is giving it comes with two clips on the side a clip in the back and this is in the inch um 24 inches y'all this is the natural curl this is a kinky curl i haven't um manipulated or did anything to the hair yet this is basically how the hair looks right out the pack i also do want to show y'all what else they sent me um this is the plastic bag that the wig came in just in case some of y'all was wondering it also comes with a wig cap um some eyelashes which is real real bomb these are kind of like my style um also it comes with a bonnet y'all this is just so freaking cute because it's a two-tone bonnet it has this light like rose type of color and then it has this gold color and then you can adjust your bonnet as well this is just super duper cute this is honestly the highlight of the packaging like y'all this is just this is just cute like you going to bed in silk you going to bed in style and y'all know silk is really really good for your hair because it doesn't take like the moisture out of your um hair it also came with this little um packet right here and this basically just gives you instructions on um basically in 30 days um if you want to return the hair for whatever reason you can um it gives you examples of their curls they have deep wave kinky curl loose wave um lace closures lace frontals yeah, baby y'all they basically have everything um you need so right here it just tells you how to care for the hair wash the hair the different types of glue you can use on the hair it's just a little pamphlet pamphlet letting y'all know all about the hair but i did not pluck the um frontal of the hair yet it did come pre-plucked but y'all know i like a natural hairline so i'm gonna go in and pluck it a little more on camera we're gonna be doing some detail um plucking today so this is how it looks um, before it's plucked it comes pre pluck a little bit but i'm gonna show y'all how i pluck um, my units okay so here's a closer look of the 4x4 closure it is swiss lace so it's like a medium brown if you're a lighter skin tone than me i would recommend bleaching your knots so what i usually do when i plug any frontal or closure i kind of part like a centimeter and a half before the front of the hairline i part it and then i comb it out and then i just begin plucking and my method to pluffing is plucking very very precise don't pluck too hard because i have ripped a couple um, lace and with Swiss lace anything that's not like a soft lace you do want to be very very careful um, when you're plucking so I'm gonna go real close so y'all can see what I'm doing so right here I'm just plucking about two to three hairs and I'm doing it very very precise this part of the video is um, sped up so it may look like I'm plucking it really really rough but in actuality y'all I'm not plucking it that rough um, and what I start doing is plucking towards the rest of the hair and then once i feel like it's thinning out a little bit i start plucking the other side of the um lace another thing i notice is a lot of people will pluck without direction don't just pluck and pluck and pluck and you can't see if you over plucking it or like what you're doing so what i usually do is pluck a little bit and then i'll comb some of the hair out and i'll comb the hairline back just so i can see how much i pluck because i notice a lot of people over pluck their units and sometimes that doesn't look too bad on camera but in person when you over pluck a unit you can see it it's gonna look like the screen door y'all y'all know what screen door i'm talking about you're gonna see the little boxes so you want to make sure you comb it out every few every few um strokes y'all you don't want to just keep plucking 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 and not knowing how much you plug so you just want to comb it out and then pluck 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 i can already see the difference here i didn't want the hairline to be over plucked so i didn't really go in depth in depth plucking it i usually do one centimeter behind the hairline and then i do one inch behind the hairline and if i'm really trying to look laid and I'm trying to give scalp, y'all. I'll even go further to do two inches behind the hairline. Right now, I'm just taking my hot comb and just um, laying out my hairline. This step is very, very beneficial. I honestly cannot believe I used to do my hair without hot combing it, y'all. I used to just pop wigs on my head, pluck it, and I used to just brush it back. Like, this hot comb has been a lifesaver, like y'all it really just it it really saves the look and at first i used to be scared to hot comb the front of the hair when it was kinky hair or curly hair because i thought i was going to be taking uh, the curls out of it but once you put um water on it or conditioner or any type of moisture on the hair the curls pop um back as y'all can see like look y'all look at the front of that frontal like 
it's a big difference it's a super super duper um big difference and the hair look jet black on camera but it's actually a natural um color it's like a natural black so i decided that i wanted to do a middle part and although this is a four by four closure y'all it's giving very much um five by five the part was really really deep i was shocked um with that so what i'm gonna do here is part it and i'm gonna go ahead and take my flat iron to try to lay it um down a little more also i did want to um mention that i'm gonna pluck it a little on my head too because i realized i did not pluck enough also did want to mention the density of this unit is 150 but i felt like it was giving 200 plus density this wig was very very full and thick hence why it took me a while to like lay the hair down i was hot combing it for a good 30 to 40 minutes y'all it took a while for me to lay that and the lighter part of my part is a cap i did go ahead and remove that later on in the video so i don't want y'all thinking that's concealer or that's a over bleached or processed lace but no y'all that's just my cap underneath it um right here i was kind of trying to decide before i laid it if i had it pulled down close enough my forehead is small so i always make the mistake of putting it too close like too on my forehead because you don't want to put it on your hairline so i always make the mistake of doing that so it took me a while to decide where i wanted um to lay my lace and again i am laying it with the got to be whole i do have my spray spray but i decided not to use it for this look because i knew i was only going to wear this wig for about a week or so so i didn't want an extreme like cold
Hey y'all, so this is the finished look. All the information on this unit will be listed down in the description box below. I noticed once my got to be glue dried, it did turn a little white. So if you see something a little white in the front of my hairline, that's just gel. Um, I love the way it came out. I wanted to go for like this wet, bust out middle part look. And y'all, it was given. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.